Hey everyone, welcome back to another Exos Heroes video. So today's video, we're going to discuss a banner that is going to be out on May 6th. So this is the Choice Fate Core Re Banner Time Walker Recruitment will begin on May 6th, Thursday after the update, and will continue up to May 13th. I know this was not what you actually wanted, guys. So please bear with Exo Zeros. I'm sure that FC Rara will be out, our Blue Fate Core. Um, she'll be out soon, I'm sure. Probably around a week or two weeks more. So please be patient with this game. So we'll go through a couple of... Um, but uh, sorry, before we go through the heroes that you have the opportunity to pull, I'll have to discuss um, the, uh, the details below. So during the limited time period, you can only choose one of the Fate Core and recruit. So be careful on who you choose first because once you once you select a Fate Core, you can never change that um, selection. Your first recruit will cost 200 Zest and you will need 700 Zest after the first recruit. Choice Fate Core cannot be changed after the selection. Again, as I said, so precautions from the Choice Fate Core Re Time Walker. You may choose one gold or black grades Fate Core. The obtain rate for the Fate Core is for gold. It's again, it's 0.5%. The next or the other one for black is 0.7%. Okay, the core mileage will, will be deleted when the choice fate core re ends and the initialized mileage will not will not will be not covered. Sorry, will not be covered. Okay, so just my thoughts on this banner. Um we actually had these heroes uh, launched already a couple of months ago. And just to do a little process of elimination, so I'll start with Legger. So Legger, in terms of um, being used in the meta now, I don't think she has been used quite really. Um, her kit is not that, you know, it's not that as powerful as the rest or some of them haven't had their core reverse yet. So Legger definitely do not pull for her unless you really want to. Next would be corgi so corgi um corgi has has a potential actually in his uh, fate core again he doesn't have a place now in pvp or probably in pve you can actually offer him if you like the character so much but i won't recommend corgi as well um again not recommend legger corgi my next would be um fc chatty so FC Chatty here, so if you can see her here, um, she's a nature um, hero. FC Chatty is actually usable in PvE, particularly in the in the um, dragon. So Holy Dragon Grounds, she can be very useful. I'm actually using her now. Um, and also some of the PvP teams in tag, I've seen use her. So. You can actually use her in PvP tag and the dragon and also the other content in PvE. Okay, so we have the last three, which I will start with uh, FC Jean. So FC Jean actually got this is FC Jean, the yellow, the, the orange, the orange orange haired guy. So he recently got his core reverse for his fate core. Currently, he is viable in most of the content, also in PvP tag as well. Um, you can actually bring him in in PvP if you don't have any other um, other heroes to bring in PvP. So he is actually on the third in terms of recruitment. So again, um, uh, FC Chatty and FC Jean could be your secondary choices if you really want to pull. But for your first choice a grouping, it would definitely be the Gold Fate course which you have there, FC Talon, FC Shell. This would be a toss-up uh, really in terms of uh, which you want to go for. It would, from my point of view, um, it would boil down to really um, what nation you have, what nation you're bringing especially as your primary in pvp because both of them can be used in pvp um both both of them can be used as well in uh, pv pvp tag 
and um, both of them are also good in your PVE content. But the one one of them actually stands out really, which is FC Talia, because um, in terms of her kit, she doesn't have a lot of conditions for you to use her. Um, she doesn't rely on a specific hero for her skills to be used. Unlike FC Shell, she relies heavily on FC Jinai. That is why I would put FC Shell on second as priority for summon. Unless if you do bring Estoris Republic as your main team in PvP. But I would highly recommend that you bring uh, that you pull for FC Talia. Number one, in terms of content. Um, FC Talia to start off with uh, with your PVE, she is good in the dragon. That's one. She's also good in your chapters. She is she can be viable for uh, PVP tag, and she is very very good in PVP. So more or less, those are your selections. Um, but again, the downside about FC Shell. Um, just to remind you guys is she needs um, uh, Janai to more or less uh, maximize her S1. So, But if she has Janai on her team and Janai is also kind of maxed out to use her charm, more or less FC Shell, FC Shell is actually very good as well for a pull. So again, just to recap, on 6th priority would be Legger. 5th would be Corgi, FC Corgi. Um, your fourth would be FC Chatty, your third would be FC Jean, your second would be FC Shell, and your first priority to pull would be FC Talia. Okay, so actually this is an opportunity for you guys to pull. Um, unless if you already have these heroes and you're saving your zest for new heroes that will come out, um, you actually can opt not to pull for this banner um especially if you've got them fusion already up to two or three uh, i think that's good already um but again if you're really really competitive in pvp you might as well go for other summons so that you can fusion them up to plus five so again for those who want to save their zest you may skip this banner but for those who are still looking for their strong heroes this is a good opportunity for you to pull for either FC Talia or FC Shell. Okay, guys, if you have any questions on this banner, you may, you may write it down below in the comment section. Also, for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, around 85% of you have not subscribed yet. If you do, this really helps my channel. Okay, guys, take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.